Hi, I'm Coach Angelo Collins. Congratulations on your new golf set. I'm going to show you a few little things that you can do before you hit. They're called pre-swing fundamentals that help you swing the club a little bit better. So the acronym that we're going to be working with is called GAPS. That stands for grip, alignment, posture and stance. First thing that we have to make sure that we have is a really good grip. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our gloved hand and we're going to set that on the top of the grip like this. But notice I set that in my fingers. All right. So that's going to set my fingers here. They're hanging. And then I'm going to take my thumb, squeeze it back so that my thumb and pointer finger are matching. Then I'm going to wrap my palm around. Then I'm going to take my bottom hand, which is my trail hand, and I'm going to set this on the club shaft and I'm going to slide my hand all the way down till they meet. Then we're going to wrap that right hand above. So if you've done that, that's called the baseball grip, which is a very easy grip to remember. The next thing that we're going to do is we can take the pointer finger off of my gloved hand, the pinky of my bottom hand and lock them together. And that right there is called an interlocking grip. It's a very common grip that we use. But if you're like me, that doesn't feel too comfortable, I'm gonna take my hand off, leave that pinky up, slide it down, and set that pinky right on top. This is called an overlapping grip. All right, you got the grip? Next, we're gonna talk about aiming. Some people will call that alignment. Take a look at this driving range. I want you to imagine two railroad tracks going down the middle of this driving range. One is going to represent your club face angle and the other one is going to represent your toe line. What we're looking for is two parallel lines. I'm sure you know from math class or geometry that if parallel lines cross, they're not parallel. So they have to be exactly the same on both sides. Something that every golfer should have is an alignment stick because this alignment stick is gonna help you figure out exactly what you're seeing on the golf course, especially on the range when you're practicing. Okay, we're out here and now it's time to hit a golf shot. So we have already established that we need two railroad tracks that are gonna align ourselves to the target. Right here I have a cluster of flags and I'm gonna use my alignment stick on the ground and something called an intermediate target, which is something that I'm gonna use on the ground that is lined up between six and 12 inches away from the ball to help my club face get perpendicular. That's like a T, get perpendicular to my target line. So here we go. I have my intermediate target and I'm using that line right there to align my club face. Then I'm gonna use my imagination and get my feet parallel to that little line that's on the ground. Once I feel comfortable, I'm gonna let it rip. I want you to go in your mind to Egypt. What's the first thing that you think of? Pyramids. Now, when we go to Egypt, are the pyramids like this? Or are the pyramids like this? The answer is they're like this. The reason why is if the pyramids were like this, they would have fallen down a long time ago. Well, people are like that too. If you try to hit a golf ball like this, with your feet close together, you might fall off balance. So we want to make sure that our feet are something like a pyramid. All right, this is the top of the pyramid. This is the bottom of the pyramid. So look at this. My feet are under my shoulders. That way, I have stability. Finishing up with posture, I want you to go through this very easy exercise. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our feet directly under our shoulders. Now, now we're going to take the club like this. We're going to wrap our fingers, but we're going to leave our pointer fingers out. Okay. We're going to slightly bend the knees, but we're going to stand straight up and down. Then we're going to bend from the waist until we hit the top of our kneecaps. This is the perfect golf posture. So let's do it from the side. So we're up here like this, got our pointer fingers. All right. We're standing straight up and down. We're going to slightly bend the knees. Now watch, I'm bending from my waist. I'm not bending from my back, bending from my waist until I hit the top of my kneecaps. Then my arms can just hang down. And this is the perfect golf posture. Well, that's everything. These are all pre-swing fundamentals. What that means is these are all the things that you have to do before you hit the golf ball. Have a good one.